We're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. C and Joel. Just Joel here. And we've got the next great AK Blade episode right here for you. This time, we got affordable pocket carries, heavy duty EDCs, giant and many bushcraft tools. All of which are from Gerber, Steel Wheel, and Tops Knives. I really can't wait. Me neither. Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about what's on the table for this week? She's so close. Because you're not. So close to moving. Every week. It's like a skunk on Every the highway. Week you do this. I can smell it's near, but I just can't see it. What's life going to be like once she moves? Hmm? What are you going to be able to talk about? Hmm. I'll feel more complete. Aww. I'll actually talk about the good food that I'm eating. The extra you have to make yourself. room I have, the less complaining I hear, I actually may not have anything to complain about. What? Yeah. Wow. All right. Can you remember life before her? Actually, it's been a long time, so yes, I can, but it's been multiple. Years. We're going to get into our stride now, starting with the steel wheel. Knife. Good job. That's Bar a big knife, too. Barguest. There you go. Yes. Uh, comes in small and regular in both the stone wash and the satin finishes. I'll start us off. Alrighty. The regular line of lock is nine and a half inches overall. We haven't had one of those in a while. With a D2 four inch steel blade. It's got a black sculpted G10 handle, a lanyard hole, a pocket clip. The blade can be either deployed using the dual thumb stud. Mm-hmm. Or the flipper stud. Shazam. Yeah, that's nice. It also has a black backspacer jimping on the front part of the handle. And it also comes with a uh, reversal pocket clip. So you can put it on this side if you want. So that's nice. Sounds like a plan. And it's just $76.99 on AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> We also have a uh, the smaller version here, if you guys want to look at it real quick. I'll give you a comparison. So, there it is. Uh, this one is just a touch over 8 inches with a 3.5 inch D2 blade. So it cuts a half off each end. Yeah. Can't beat that. And this one is just $72.99 at AtlanticKnife.com. There it is. AtlanticKnife.com. Same features, just a touch smaller. But wait, there's more. After much debate, mm -hmm. for a limited time, use the code. Did you get this? Everything is a is put on a stick around here. I don't know. It's like we're at Tilla the Hunt or something. Use this code. I think what we have on the sticks much better. And get ten percent <laughs> off this knife. Yeah, so it's a touch cheaper. <laughs> So, what are your thoughts on this blade? Do you like the? Let's start. Let's. Do you like the regular one or the smaller one better? I like the regular one, nine inches. I don't know. Satin finish. I like them both. I mean. Oh, I didn't say I dislike the other. I don't know. They both kind of fit me pretty well. I like the extra part here, but then I also I like this one just fits. Deep carry pocket clips. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just think it's a great everyday Usable carry. thumb studs? I like the flipper stud better. But is it usable? Yeah, I, I showed you. It I saw you. I and I took it with me just this past weekend on a little day trip. Day trip? And yeah. And it did the trick every time. So. You know what? I took our next blade on a day trip too. Did you now? Yes, I did. The Gerber Sumo. Or is that the Sumo? No, I think it's... I you think, think it's Sumo? Sumo? I've heard yeah. it both ways. Go ahead. Wow. I like them both. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I really like the Gerber Sumo banner on <laughs> landknife.com. That's up there right now. Hopefully it's up there right now. That's because I mean, that picture is just amazingly <laughs> snazzy, let me tell you. I saw that and I was like, wow, that is... Yes. So, the Gerber Sumo... Sumo... <laughs> Sumo. 
Are you going sumo? Oh, you're going wrong. Yeah, you're. There you are picking your dog's hair off me again. It's a newer addition to the Gerber's repertoire of pocket EDCs. Wow. Did you like that? Yeah, I, I thought that was quite interesting. Pivot lock. Said that. So, I was really interested to see um, Gerber's take on the pivot lock on this knife, which seems to be like the latest feature all the companies are passing around, like the the pretzel bun thing we discussed kind of oh, last yeah, week. Last week. I have to say I'm not disappointed, but I don't think it's quite SOG Terminus level. Hmm. Well, it's not SOG Terminus money either. True. And it's larger. Yeah. Different style on the blade. Larger blade than the SOG Terminus. So. So it's, what you're saying is it's not as responsive. Yeah. So it's if I not were to do this. You. It's kind of hard to flip back and forth. But see, I put Did some... you oil that? The other day, yeah. And you know factory Gerber stuff. Man, that stuff needs oil. Look at that. He did Ooh, all this. Look at that. It's mine so I can gonna... destroy it if I want to. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yep. Oh. Hopefully Wendy's got I you I was down denied. Right? Look at there. Nice little blade. I, I really like think it. these are great knives from Gerber. I wish they had come out with them a little sooner. I feel like this would have been like great spring. They're very slow at summer. getting a. Uh, not, not fall. They come out with it in over. January and say, look what we have. And then we get it in. Now. Yep. It's a little like crazy, I'd have to this. say. but Yeah, so let's get down to business. Specs, see? We're just not important enough. Take it away. <laughs> okay, guys, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Go All on. right, so is this is this really happening? What? The Gerber Sumo is nine point oh two inches yes, overall. We got two this is two in a row. Nine. I feel like we haven't done one of these since the Mari Colosso back in eighty three. Whoa, I don't think it's been that long. Okay, maybe eighty five. I don't know. Oh. I think Pong 84. was a little bit old by that point. People oh. were starting to move on to the Atari. Oh. All right. You you, it, would, you would know, right? That's your generation. I was reading an old comic book the uh. other day. <laughs> I saw a commercial for Burger Time on the back, and mm -hmm. I was like, wow, what's that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has a 4-inch. Here's the disappointing part. 7CR17 MOV steel plain edge blade. But that's why you can sell it for... It's nice, but it's not detailed. budget-friendly, though. Right. You can deploy it via the thumb slot. Hold on. I'm giving you time. You can deploy it. There you there go. You go. Do the thumb slot. <laughs> it's got a black and white. For some reason, I want to say kumquat. Layered G10 scales. Too much yak yak. It always is. It's always. Emails are rolling in already. They are. On this version, while the teal mm -hmm. ceramic coated liners, yes. is that correct? And barrel spacers. I love this one. While the other model is black and gray, layered G10. Look at that. With a lovely Merlot ceramic coated liner barrel spacer. Wow. Both have the pivot lock system. A lanyard hole, a black reversible pocket clip, and the best part, we say the best for last as always, both are only $37.84 on AtlantaLife.com. I feel like we're part of that new Flow commercial where she tries not to mention what a great deal you can get. So she talks about the weather. And oh, the, yeah, she can't. And do then it. we're like, AtlantaLife.com. That's it. All right. Okay, so. Are you having a tough time? I'm having a tough time. The next one is a tops. It is the. You pointed to the wrong one. Yukon too. Hawk. <laughs> You're like this. Well, you had them lined up. I don't know. Don't forget your whistle. I'm sorry. Yes, the whistle. You know how to use this, don't you? Never mind. It's an old quote from a movie. Blow. Pop, pop. We should just stop. Yeah, you but should. I think I'm going home. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Just realized I'm not going home. All right. Not yet, anyway. Okay. So, don't forget. But first. Here it comes. Okay. Don't forget to hit us up on social media like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, and Instagram. It's the same time. I know. Well, you're talking about condescension. While you're there, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That way you're entered to win the K bar. Did you hear that? Yeah, Black Star. K-Bar. K-Bar Black Star. I didn't say K-Bar. If you head on over to AK's blog, you can also be entered to win the... Oh, me. Yeah, um, Mr. Condensation. S-E. S-E. 
4K. 4SKO. Camping knife. Camping knife. There you go. Yeah. Yep. So make sure to answer the AK trivia question to be entered to win that. And back to the tops, Yukon hatchet. Well, more new specs? Yeah. So Let's do them. Take a little sheath off there. Okay. You this is going to be, uh, yeah, well, let's, let's get our, uh, get some view going with it. Yeah. Too. I okay. tell you, the first thing I noticed right off the bat. What? Thick spine on that sucker. It is, but I don't think it's that thick. It'd be nice to grip that thing. Uh, I'll, I'll talk Go about ahead. A okay, so this tool is 15 inches overall with a 4.8 inch 1095 high carbon steel blade which comes about 56, 58 on the HRC scale and has a tumble finish. And the material is black and orange Sure Touch G10 with lanyard holes. It includes a black leather belt sheath or you can, you know, attach it whatever way you want. So this goes on the head and then you know, this slides up the handle. I'm not going to show you because I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. the infamous whistle survival whistle I'm show you a close-up of that it's a whistle same it's whistle as you always get yeah. yeah go ahead i'll let you go first even though i'm dying go well i tell you it looks like it's very durable and they took their time with it because it's got nice rounded edges instead of the typical you know when you'll find the metal it'll be all mm -hmm. uh, just flat here they rounded everything to give it a nice look <laughs> choke up on it i could i could do that i guess <laughs> use it for something other than a hatchet so I like the like, scales are removable. You like always removable scales. Mm -hmm. And that's about where I'll stop. I'll let you roll with it. I think it would be fair to say that it's very similar to the Condor Axe we tested a way back. Oh yes, the tan one. I can't remember what it was called. Yes, I can't remember either, but it was a great axe and it was kind of thin like this. But you said thick, so that's why... Well, it's still pretty beefy for an axe that I would think of that is a single piece of steel. I don't know. I think it's kind of thin for this type of okay. axe. I like the slimness that it looks. Apparently, this one over here doesn't agree, but that's okay. No, I um, like it. I also like that uh, features seem to be carried over to this one as well from the Condor. There's the slimness, the type of axe or hatchet it is. I don't know. I like the layered scales. I like that you can kind of use the back to hammer and stuff. Well, if you're going to have a, an axe, exactly, you might as well get it's more than dual one purpose. Use out of it. Exactly. Yeah. What about the sheath? I noticed this is supposed to stay on there, correct? It it could. Stay That's on kind there. of the point. It's very hard to get off. So I'm it assuming was difficult, but if that you this wanna, was supposed to stay on. You have to take it off. Or pull it down a little further. And if you're using it, you don't want your sheath like moving as you're axing. You use yeah, and you know what? Her. This is going to be on your belt anyway. Exactly. So you're going to have so, to take it. Maybe it's just because it's new. It's kind of tough to get off. Maybe once you you know use it more, it gets a little yeah, worn. Yeah, I agree with you. I actually use this. This is an amazing axe, okay? I know that's where you're coming from me. but She whacked I, I a hate... cupcake in half, and that sucker was down for the count. I'm sorry. It was a donut. It was Twix. I don't need a Twix. I can break Twix myself. No, I really went out and hit some uh, branches no, no, with no. it. No. <laughs> that one I gotta just... Okay. I actually went and used it on a tree and it, it took off the branch in like 2x. Very good. And not a scratch. Not a scratch. Exactly. Good thing. So, there also seems to be a curved section to the yeah. tail. I like that. I, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Between the handle there and choke the axe. Choke up on it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. You I have to keep, keep saying choke up on it. I know. It. I okay. You. Very similar to the hammer hawk um, oh, yeah. that they had, but lighter. And it's made of 1095 instead of 1075. So I think tops did good with this one. And it is only, wait for it, 224.48 on lagknife.com. Lag one thing here. I'll mention. Well, just one thing. What? I don't like the sheath. You don't? I don't like the one for the head. It, I feel like I'm going to cut myself when I try and put it on. It, look at that. It doesn't seem super practical to me. Hmm. I mean, if you're out and about and you want to, you know, axe something off when you're in the camping or whatever, you're going to have to do this, and then you're just going to you're just going to have to stab. Yeah, be yourself. very careful. Yeah, you, you don't really want to have to waste time taking the sheath off. You want to go whack something. Go whack it. Exactly. All right. 
final carry this week is the Topps Mini Tan Imboka Puko Knife. Hmm. Uh, the MTP. We went from one extreme to the other, didn't we? That's how we roll here. Can you find it? Guess what hand it's in? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Atlantknife.com. Set him up. He didn't do it. Set me up. Yep. Didn't do it. Here it is. We get a ding anyway. Great. So I think we'll do the specs while we Let's formulate exactly what we're going to say about this. Lead the way. Yeah. So this carry is four inches overall. Can't tell what I think about that. That's four fingers. With a 1.6 inch 1095 in blade with some um, tumble finish. It's great. Mm -hmm. Handles black canvas micarta with red orange liners. Comes with a brown leather sheath for tip down neck carry along with a loop. You know, if you want to put it to your belt or your pack, whatever. Uh, along with the survival whistle. And I've ever been it because I didn't want it in the way, but it's a green paracord like neck chain. So. All right. So you can attach this puppy to your belt, pack, or take it in a neck carry style. Whatever you want. Designed by the original Topps Puko designer, Goran. My hair off. Malovic. This knife was designed to make bushcraft items like uh, utensils, baskets, um, blow guns, and kookska. Yeah, got me right on that way. one. Uh, along with being used to whittle, and you know it satisfies other. Wow, EDC whittle. This ain't your grandfather's whittler. Let me tell no, you that. It isn't. <laughs> All right. So here's was my. Let me get that from you. Here was my first thoughts on it. It's tweezers. Is that there should be two. Because you could hold a mean corner cob with this sucker. Oh my gosh, you could. Think about it. Or a I leg actually of think that if I had corn cob holders like gonna, this. Yeah? You'd eat more corn? Oh my gosh, yes. Corn every night, buddy. I bet you we could sell those too. You could, you'd be surprised how many people would be like, oh, knife corn cob holders. That's I awesome. I saw some cat corn cob holders this weekend, so. Did you? Yeah. That is impressive. I didn't purchase them, if anyone was wondering. I... So, it's a little smaller than I'm used to. I will say that. Okay. And since there's no guard, I'm guessing that you would have to be a little more careful than uh Well look, it practically takes up your whole hand. You could be holding the, the knife and be like, I whoops, a, there's the blade, you know but not whoops. If I was doing a review, you, be like, I can get a strong three fingers on this. <laughs> um just say that. I actually oh will gosh. occasionally lay them in my hand so people can see how big they are. Oh. You're like, wow. Yeah, I can get two of them in there. End to end. All right. How many could go around the earth and in? But you said this thing was sharp, right? Mm-hmm. I, I do think it's really freaking sharp for this knife. I mean, you wouldn't think if you were looking at it because it's really small and not very intimidating, but if you cut yourself with this, you're you're going to get yourself good. You're going to feel you it. You can get some precise cuts Because I, I was bit. cutting some stuff with that. I'm like, wow, that's sharp. I will say, backup knife, it probably serves its purpose. And you did say it was for, like, you know, wielding a blowgun, which, you know. Yeah. All of us have done it at least. Once? Yeah, you know what? I come to think of it, I can't even remember the last time I whittled a blowgun. Well, that's disappointing. You should I, remember that. I am that. going to have to whittle another one this weekend. Another one? Can yeah, that is a, that is grammatically one? incorrect, isn't it? Yes. I will have to start on a blowgun this weekend. Yeah. I'm not even sure how to begin whittling a blowgun. I've always wanted a Do statue of Mickey Mouse in my front yard. It would probably only take me about 11 or 12 years. Is it years. this big? <laughs> it's going to be when I'm done with it. Oh, you okay. You know what? That thing will make a mean toothpick out of a toothpick, I bet. All I right. bet it would. You might be able to use this as a toothpick. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I know somebody that would do that. All right. So a man's man. You this said this knife was really sharp. Yep. Can't it, cut yourself. Like you're you're going to get yourself good if you cut yourself. Not this, intimidating. So, so be careful. Well, it's a good multi-purpose tool. How about mm -hmm. that? Yeah. And it's only seventy-eight eighty-four on AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> Really? Are you saying really to me stealing your line? Yes, and the price <laughs> is both. I think it's a little high for this tiny of a knife. I mean, it's got a puko cut on it. If someone came out to me in the street and said, puko grind, excuse me. and said, do you want this or $73? I'd be like, I mean, like can I have you... that and $71? <laughs> I'd be like, are you serious? You know what, uh, let's be serious about it. Uh, it is a nice knife. It, and it, I'm telling people about it. I think it should just be a little It's got a nice sheet. Bigger. I feel like nice we're, backup I knife. I feel like we're approaching Civivi mandate status here. Yeah. 
the glorified box cutter for eighty three thirty eight. Did you say it was ten ninety five? I wish. <laughs> oh, you meant <laughs> <laughs> I meant to steal. <laughs> That's funny because I had a joke too. Yes, yeah, ten. Mine was gonna be. You said it was ten ninety five, right? Well, that kind of makes the difference right there. Over ten seventy five. I mean. Uh, but that was the axe. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's ten ninety five though. Still. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, it is what it is. It is what it it's is. A nice. I still think it's a little much for a little knife, but I'm not the one who needs some whittling done. So. Mm -hmm. If you need some whittling done, and this looks like a good knife for you. I mean, go ahead. I mean, it does come with you know neck sheath, and I like I the paracord. I suggest you get seventy eight dollars for whittling. Chain. You get yourself a rocking chair. Or milk crate. I mean, either one works. Or a corn cob pipe no, and a button, button nose. nose. All right. So we went over this. Yep. And you said you did like thing. it or you didn't like it? I do like it. I mean, I think it's a nice knife. I think it does have practical use, but I'm kind of on the same fence as you are with the 78 bucks. But All right. Well, All right. you know, we're not going to love every Let's not knife. harp on it. Let's move on. Let's not harp on it. Okay, that does wrap up this episode. We should have just harped on it. Yep. Yep. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That way you're entered any giveaways we're doing. Along with making us look good. We don't really Because you guys got really us all the there, way up buddy. to 5G's, buddy. That's great. Well, we've stalled. While you're at it, you can head on over to AtlanticKnife.com's blog and answer the AK trivia question. It's big fun. Yeah. And you're entered to win something as well. So this time it's the SE 4KS. Okay. Oh, camping knife. Yep. So finally, we're on social media outlets like Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> Along with occasionally, people do mention us on Reddit. Check us out on the photo. Check us out there for wow, where's it? photos, where's it? polls, giveaway info. I'm so sorry. Knife and outdoor gear updates. At Plus, I will randomly pick up the store phone and post stuff. Randomly. Yeah, I did before you come down here. Oh, I forgot to mention that we, we made the thumbnail, especially for you guy. What was his name? Richard. Richard. Yeah, that was for yeah. you, buddy. He picked it. It was all yeah. him. If he had seen the Puko, the tambioca, the tapioca, whatever it's called. MTP. Yep. He would have definitely chosen it. <laughs> He'd have been like, you could zoom in on that. So we have everything on there, on their social media alias, from photos, polls, giveaway info, gear yep. updates, anything you can think of short of the kitchen sink. It's all there. Yeah. With that, I'm seeing this is Joel. Just Joel. Nothing more, nothing less. And we are signing off.